Hi, welcome to this video. I'm Lisa and this channel focuses on defining visionary art and developing an appreciation. So today I speak with Fiona Gillespie, a young Irish artist from Cork and a recent graduate from the Limerick School of Art and Design. So could you introduce yourself? What's your name, your age and your educational background? I am Fiona Gillespie, I'm 22, and I went to secondary school in North Cork and then I had no idea really what I wanted to do up until about um, leaving search. I was going, oh yeah, well, in my head I was going, I would never do fine art, you know, it's, it's like I would never actually get a job or anything in it and I wouldn't be capable of it. So I ended up doing sculpture and... Um, I did, I like, I was kind of all over the place for a while and I wasn't sure like what I wanted to do. But, but um, yeah, I just wasn't happy. I like, I, I my mum as well, she says, you should have done painting. Mm. But um, I just, with, I didn't do the painting elective. So in my head, I was like, I can't do painting now, you know, whereas I very much could have done painting. Yeah. Um, uh, I kind of gave up. I'm very good at giving up on myself a lot <laughs> um like I'll, I'll give up on things before they even start it sometimes my my fourth year I was going it was the summer before um just that literally the start of pandemic that summer and I was at home and I started my parents I was like I can't do this like I need to take a gap year and my mum was like maybe you should take a gap year and my dad was like you're not taking a gap year you're doing it you're more than capable and I was like okay <laughs> so I went in and I was going oh my god I can't do this oh my god I can't do this and then it kind of I just I literally I remember I had an epiphany moment where I was lying in bed and I was like why don't I literally just make art about me and my demons of not being able to do things so I came up with this concept of idea hunters and idea prey because I'm really into biology as well if I am um, I kind of have the I kind of have the idea if I didn't do art, I probably would have done biology. But the problem is I'm very squeamish, like ridiculously squeamish, which is kind of ironic since I love monsters and kind of, I do love a bit of gore, like, but I'm very squeamish, which is, I just, if, if it's like, if, if it's if it's put onto me, I, I'm like, no. Whereas if I go actively looking for gore, I'm okay with it. It's like non-consensual gore for me scares me. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had the idea hunters, which were basically, they were the carnivores of this forest, which is where I kind of situated um, all these paintings where they took place. Um, it's kind of like, you think of, um, I did mention a few times, when, like when I was doing my research, Darwin and how he went and studied all these different creatures. And that was kind of me, but I was studying these creatures that were in my head. Um, and and they're made up and I kept developing them and developing how they evolved and I got really into evolution and um, speculative evolution specifically um, just like how creatures could have evolved differently my parents my mom did zoology in college like my parents were both mad into their biology they both kind of worked in marine biology for years my dad is now and in, uh, he works in environmentalism and um you know, growing up, they don't just always have the nature books in front of me and I'd just always be outside and my dad would be naming things and naming things. And it's just brushed off on me. Like, I, I fucking love nature. I didn't, um, like, if I wasn't so weak and feeble, I'd live in the woods. Like, I just, <laughs> I need to, I need to build up my strength so I can go and live in the wilderness for the rest of my life. So you have a very strong colour palette in your paintings, these new ones specifically. Are you using yeah. a UV filter? in the presentation um, I well I didn't actually in my grad work and I haven't put my grad work under like UV lights yet what I have is their blue LEDs but they're really good and they're really bright I have like 10 meters of them I don't have them set up now I've just moved flat so um but for some some portions of you know like when I'd be doing those paintings like they each painting like about 60 plus hours like they take a long time can see. and um but like I'd get sick of it and I'd be like oh well how am I going to fix this and I changed colors of my lights and it like you're looking at a completely different painting and you're looking at completely different markers um like color wise I, I kind of use Pasca a lot Pasca would be my main one and then I use acrylic paint uh as well um and I kind of I don't use the acrylic 
really paint as much. Um, in I kind of just like it for the fluidity, like in some of the paintings, you know, you can't really get that with markers, you know, it's, mm. it's, it's more, um, what's the word, spontaneous, I guess. How would you start mentally in creating those, like, images? So you, you see your blank I, canvas, what's, what goes through your head from start to finish? How do you organize uh, the chaos into something I coherent? Love- I, you see, I don't necessarily know if it's coherent, um, but I just, I literally just paint from, or I draw from my head, like, I just, I don't, I don't necessarily plan them out beforehand, I'm, like, I'll start drawing, and I'll start drawing in one spot, and I'll start thinking, what would look nice over here, or what would look nice over there, and then it's just all kind of, like, I love filling in space like there's so much detail in my work and like if I see a gap it upsets me like in one of my paintings and I'm like I have to put something in here psychedelic art are you would you take substances when you make art or would you be sober no no um I and a lot of people say that they go oh you must be bad at your mushrooms or whatever and I'm like I never touch one Uh, I think the most psychedelic thing I've had is probably smoking weed and I don't do that now even because I'm like I don't I don't really get a buzz off of it or anything if anything it makes me feel sick and um and like I was kind of like oh a lot of people can but apparently that's that's the case for quite a few people you know they just can't have it I like because I was going well I shouldn't be enjoying this you know it's a drug it's weed you know and everyone enjoys it but I don't like some people would have bad reactions to drink and stuff as well you know and um just don't I don't do any psychedelics I I feel like there's so much going on in my head if I had anything like acid or LSD or something I definitely just end up killing myself (laughs) you know I just feel like there would be too much I probably get psychosis like I I just Mm -hmm. I couldn't